Hi everyone, this is Cole Zimmerman with Rainwater Management Solutions. In this video, we'll be looking at the VZ four-step rainwater harvesting process. You can see it here in this diagram. This is a step-by-step -step design approach with four primary design principles that can be applied to ensure the cleanest possible water inside your tank. This four-step approach is based off the guidelines from Standard 63, the American National Standard for Rainwater Catchment Systems, developed by ARCSA, ASPE, and ANSI. Each of these four steps are included within Standard 63 as crucial elements of a well-designed rainwater harvesting system. The first step is to use a pre-tank filter to remove rooftop debris and other large particles before it can reach your tank. The second step is to gently introduce the incoming rainwater by using a smoothing inlet. The third step is to pump water out of your tank for end use through a floating filter intake. And the fourth and final step is to install an overflow device to allow excess water to re release from your tank when it is full. Now that we've looked at the basic overview, let's dive deeper into each step. Step one is pre-tank filtration. A pre-filter can be installed upline from your tank to prevent any large rooftop debris or other large particles from entering your tank. We have pre-filters of all shapes and sizes and different flow rates as well. You can have a horizontal pre-filter, a vertical pre-filter that can install directly in line with your downspout, and our staple, the vortex filter. By removing rooftop debris and large particles, you're preventing the presence of harmful bacteria inside your tank because this debris often carries bacteria or it can serve as a food source for new bacteria growth. So keeping it out is best for your tank health. These are self-cleaning filters. The debris that is removed from the water simply flows out through a discharge line. So there's not much maintenance need for these filters. All you have to do is every three to six months, remove the filter insert and clean it off. They're stainless steel, so you can run it through your dishwasher or simply give it a scrub with some dish soap and a brush. The second step is to calm inflowing water that enters your tank by using a smoothing inlet. The smoothing inlet disperses and redirects the flow of water as it enters your tank. Not only does this oxygenate the water, which is good for tank health, but it also prevents water turbulence. This keeps any settled particles sitting along the bottom of your tank from being disturbed and churned up and resuspended into the tank. Step three is to use a floating filter intake with a hose that attaches to the inlet of your pump. This device floats just below the surface of the water, where the water is cleanest. That way, you are pumping the fewest particle contaminants possible because you're drawing from the cleanest section of the tank. In doing so, you reduce wear and tear on your pump and you reduce the amount of work that needs to be done by your post tank filters. The fourth step is to install an overflow device that allows for safe discharge of excess water when the tank is at capacity. It also skims the surface of the water to remove any floating particles, and it is designed to prevent water backflow as well as entry by vermin and insects. And that sums up the VZ four-step rainwater harvesting process. When using a pre-tank filter, a smoothing inlet, a floating filter intake, and an overflow device, you will be ensuring the highest possible quality water inside your tank. When these steps are properly applied, you will not have to change your post-tank filters as often, and you should never have to clean your tank. Give us a call today to learn how you can start saving water. Thank you.